Hey guys, it is Courtney Kaufman here with bowhunting.com and I am here to bring you the Matthews Prima Bow Review. This is the new woman's bow that Matthews launched this last year. So we are gonna go over the specs, everything this bow has to offer, and I will give you a little rundown of my setup that I've got going this year. All right, guys, let's jump into the weight of this bow. So bare bow, you're looking at right under that four pounds. And even with all my gear on here, it's still at five and a half pounds. And I used it this last turkey season. It was super light, it was durable, it was so easy to carry around in the field. And that's what just makes this bow that much better. All right, so now the height of this bow is 30 inch axle to axle. You've got a five and a half inch brace height. And the bow also has an 80% let off. The draw length on this bow goes from 21 and a half to 27 and a half inches. Draw weights for this bow are 40, 50, or 60 pound options. Now for me personally, I hunt right around that 40 pound draw weight. So for me, I wanted to make sure I wasn't maxing out at 40 because I know I eventually am gonna want to increase my weight. So I went with the 50 pound option. This way I can start lower and make my way up versus being maxed out right away. The Matthews Prima has an IBO rating of 321 feet per second. It also has the cross-centric cam system, as you've seen on other flagship bows from Matthews. Similar to the V3 and the Atlas, the Prima has the Nano 3D dampener, as well as the angled center guard cable containment, which helps keep your cables centered in the middle of your bow, which is not only gonna help when you're tuning your bow, it's gonna help with your cam timing, and then it's also giving you a little bit extra clearance for your veins as well. All right, so let's jump into the full rundown of my bow here. So for me personally, I use the 50 pound mods. I have a 25 inch draw length. And then for stabilizer, I do use the seven inch dead center verge. Now in the time that I have used this bow, I can't say anything but good things about it. I mean, just even setup wise tuning this bow, it was from switching the strings, putting on the sight, getting the rest on, and honestly, I would say about 10 minutes, I was shooting bullet holes. There wasn't much tuning that needed done with this bow. It was definitely one of the fastest bow tunings I have ever done. And personally, one of my favorite features with this bow between the cam system and the back wall is there's so much let off that I'm able to practice longer, more than I have with any other bow that I have shot. It is definitely something that is beneficial to me because I'm someone who's had two shoulder surgeries already, so I'm definitely able to get more practice time in and it's not doing so much straining on my shoulders. The Matthews Prima comes in eight different finishes. I have the green ambush, but you can also get it in their two new colors, which are the first light specter as well as the Under Armour Forest All Season. This bow comes with an MSRP of $10.99, so check out your local Matthews dealer if you'd like to pick one up for yourself or a loved one. Now, I was able to use this bow for turkey season, but I'm really looking forward to this fall for whitetail season because hopefully next time you see me, I'll have a buck on the ground.